Good morning or afternoon if you're not watching this till later. Uh, I just wanted to do kind of a quick check-in and cover a handful of things that uh, people have been sending me questions about or uh, that kind of stuff. So um, first off, uh, I just put up a new assignment. Um, I know that tomorrow is the beginning of your spring break, but I know most of you are going to be bored because you don't have anywhere to go nor can you even if you wanted to um, and so this assignment I wasn't um, you don't have to start it over spring break I just wanted to give you information so that way if you wanted to kind of get started with it um, you're more than welcome to just to kind of give you some something to do and some information and that kind of stuff so um, so the assignment essentially is going to be documenting the world that we're currently living in. And so one of the big questions is, how does a photographer document one of the most significant shared human experiences in our recent history, right? Um, so in here, there's a handful of different um, kind of uh, slideshows of different uh, photographers that have taken pictures from around the world um, or locally, so like Duluth um, and and in the Twin Cities, right? So, you know, as you notice, like, some of them are inside and some of them are outside. Um, so here's the thing, like, rule number one, you have to be safe, right? You're not allowed to put yourself in harm's way. Uh, you have to stay away from people. Do not touch stuff, wash your hands. And if you do go outside, communicate before, during, and after with your parents slash guardians, right? Like, this... Like you can do this entire project inside your house without any problem. Okay. Um, if you are going out on walks and that kind of stuff, great, but, you know, document that kind of stuff too. And the stuff that's around you. Um, but like I said, be safe the whole, I don't want you getting in harm's way. Okay. Be safe. I don't know if I can say that enough times. Um, so some of the expectations for the project uh, is that I want you to have a theme, right? So what I mean by that is like, so human connection, isolation, anxiety, hope, disparity, community, right? So what are, having a theme when you go into these types of projects is going to help you um, look at the world in a different way, have, help you notice things that you may not have noticed, um, or just have a little bit more intention with this. Um, you're going to submit five edited photos. Okay, so what I mean by edited is that they are, you know, cropped appropriately, um, that you have a theme going through all five, right? They should look like they are part of a um, of one story, not five totally random pictures from all over the place, right? So have a, you know, have a theme. Uh, are they all going to be in black and white? Are you, are they all going to be tinted, cool, uh, high contrast, bright, muted, etc. Okay. Um, I want you to have a solid understanding of composition. So, you know, think about a rule of thirds, leading lines, balance, emphasis, space, any of those things, right? So all of our pictures just kind of have that rule of thirds kind of concept and feel, um, two of them or have that in, you know, somewhere in your mind. Uh, so I want them submitted through Schoology um, with a minimum resolution of 150 pixels per inch, right? So that's like a medium size. You know, the, the higher the quality, the better. Um, honestly, if you're not sure, like, how do I know? Uh, you know, look at the, at your file size, right? They should be at the very least one megabyte. Um, as far as camera options, whatever you have access to, right? Uh, editing software. So that's one of the big questions that people kind of keep shooting towards me um, is that there's a lot of different options, right? So if you have uh, Photoshop and, or Lightroom available, like at home on your um, computer, great. Okay. Um, actually, if you have a... Uh, computer at home. Uh, one of the things that I've been told, I already personally have it, but is that you can download the software um, and log in um, on your personal computer, not on your Chromebook, but log in with like your school ID and all that kind of stuff, just like we did um, at school, right? So go log in with your uh, Google account, do the apps.district, blah, 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 right? And then uh, we are a, a school, right? So an entity, I think is what it calls it. So um, if you have a smartphone, which a lot of you do, you can do the, you can download Lightroom um, on your smartphone. Okay. That works for iPhones. It works for all the different options out there. Um, Lightroom on the Chromebook, for some people it's working, for some people it's not. Okay. Um, I, I don't, 
I've reached out to them a million different times and they don't have a good answer. So sorry. Um, Snapseed on your Chromebook, that works pretty well. Um, I've kind of played around with it a little bit. Uh, Pixlr on your Chromebook also works pretty well. Or just using like your phone in general. Like, but I want you to use uh, your adjustments and that kind of stuff to have, you know, rather than just throwing a filter on top of this stuff. Okay, so that's kind of the assignment. Um, it's you're gonna have basically like two weeks um, after spring break to get this thing done. And so let me see if I can. Oh, where's my calendar? Oh boy. Of course, it's not showing up now. Um, if you if, let's see, so today is Friday, spring break. So it won't be due until um, the 24th. So that actually gives you a lot of time, okay? Um, and so that's on the 24th in Schoology, that's where the assignment will actually be, okay? Um, some just additional resources. If you're like, oh, Nelson, I'm not sure about com composition, boom, right here. Three different websites kind of talking about that stuff. Um, different articles about f f uh, photographers, that kind of stuff during the COVID-19 crisis. Some of the stuff other people are doing, Go in here, check it out. Okay. Um, other potential resources that are just or just things that are kind of interesting um, is that there's this organization that is doing like a COVID-19 archive, so you can go in here and you know kind of flip through some of this stuff. This is definitely a little bit more artsy and that kind of stuff. Um, this is just a really kind of a cool thing anyway. So COVID-19 photography for teens, and so this is actually a website started by a student um, out in Seattle, and every single week um, they have a different theme. So starting March 23rd, their theme was food, right? So uh, their first week was the March 23rd, um, right? So they're showing, I don't know, whatever their theme was for that one, right? So every single week, there's going to be a, a different theme and that kind of stuff in there. So I don't know, it's kind of neat. Um, you know, go in, check it out, and submit to that stuff just for fun, Okay, that's not an assignment. It's just something you, you can do that you know can help push your photography, um, and kind of look at some stuff other people are doing too. Okay, let's go into Schoology. So the summative information document and all that kind of stuff is going to be in Schoology. Um, don't for, so. Let's talk about a couple other things outside of this project. Um, new assignment. We talked about Weebly really quickly. Um, one of the questions I've been getting, oh, can I switch to this? Is that an option? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Um, oh, look at that. Okay. Um, one of the questions that I've been getting is, how do I get my photos onto Chromebook for my phone? Easy. One of the things that I've found that works kind of the best is on your phone, download uh, the Google Drive. Um, and you can just plop your photos into Google Drive, and then you can get them on your Chromebook um, or Google Photos. Same kind of thing works well. Um, kind of talked about software, uh, weekly assignments. So just kind of a reminder, because things are a little bit different, um, is that uh, you only need to submit one picture per weekly assignment. Okay. Uh, check-ins and discussion boards. So every single B day, you're going to have two options. Um, you can either uh, do the my office hours in which... Um, so I'm also going to change my office hours after spring break. So that way it's going to be in the 11 to 1 time. Because a bunch of you complain, kind of like, oh, it's too early, which is ridiculous. Go to bed. Um, so you can get up at a decent time. But that's fine. 11 to 1, new office hours. There'll be a link in Schoology. Uh, discussion board. So every single Friday, um, I want to see you putting up something that you've been working on, right? This is not a graded thing. It's just one of those things that I want, like, I want you to be checking in with me. I want to see what you're working on, right? Um, so take whatever projects, whatever pictures, any of that kind of stuff that you've been working on, put them up there. It's a kind of a cool way to, for other people to kind of see what you've been doing um, and you checking out what other people have been doing too. And then... So that's on Friday. And then on Wednesday, like I said, do the office hour check-ins or there every week there will also be a um, like a new question or something like that on um, Flipgrid. So if you're like, if you don't catch me during my office hours, go to Flipgrid and you can go that way as well. 
So that is what's going on. I think I covered all of the big picture questions. Um, if you do have more questions or any of that kind of stuff, shoot me an email. Uh, check with me during my office hours. Send something through Schoology, whatever. I've been, um, you know, I'm just like you guys. I'm kind of sitting around getting some stuff done. So I should be responding pretty quickly. So I think that's it. Have a good spring break. Stay sane, wash your hands, uh, and be nice to each other. Bye.